Hi, and welcome to section 4, .NET under the covers. In the previous section, we saw how we can handle modules in PowerShell, and in this section, we take a peek under the covers and look at the .NET runtime. In this section, we will take a look at some basic .NET concepts in PowerShell, loading assemblies, adding types, and writing commandlets. Now we move on to the first video of this section about .NET concepts in PowerShell. In this video, we're going to take a look at types, we will have a look at namespaces, methods, and enums. Now, in PowerShell, types are not always explicit, so I could just create an object, foo, and I ha can have a look at the type from using the getType uh, method, and we can see here that it, its base type is system.object, which is an object from uh, .NET type of x equals x get type. Let's store this in a variable. We can then walk the object graph. There's a name parameter. There's a full name, which is the fully qualified name. And pass this on to the get member. I can pass x to the get member commandlet, which is an alternative in PowerShell, which will give you a, a quite extensive set of information. Here again, the type the system string, and here are all the methods and the properties, and so on. So let's create an array. Then I could try and pass that to get member. Now we see that the type name is uh, int32 and not array as you might expect. And this is because the get member takes command that takes the first object from the array and uh, shows its members. So if I want to have the type of the array itself, I pass it to the input object parameter. And here indeed we see that we have an array of objects. Now, let's try and instantiate objects from a class. I can use the new object commandlet and I can give it a type name. Oh, sorry. I can give it a type name system.uri and an argument list for the constructor http www.something.com. I can test for the, its class by using the is operator. And here I can use a reference a class using uh, brackets, system.uri. In fact, also there are classes that are where you don't have to use the fully qualified name, typically from the system namespace. So I could just say uri. It's a shorthand notation. Let's try another one, dns. This one is not loaded, so I could either write system.net.dns or I could load the entire names, namespace into the current scope. So I could say using namespace system.net and now I can say you, a test for uh, URI is DNS. So let's go back to the object creation. Remember that I typed, I used a new object commandlet earlier. Now I can do the same with URI equals, then I refer to the class and then I use colon colon, uh, which is kind of a notation for a static method. And I treat new as a static method on the class, HTTP www.somethingelse.com. And it saves me a little bit of typing. And it's also a notation a bit more similar to like C sharp, for instance. So moving on with static methods, I could call arbitrary static methods on a type on, on a, a class check host name. I can dot org. Okay. DNS. Let's look at the type. We can see that this is actually an enum and here's the enum name. So what I can do then is that I can go back to this 
and I can test for equality. Then I can take this name here and refer to it as a type, colon, colon, and then now I can use tab expansion to find the value that I need. I could also use the system.enum get names uri host name type find all the possible values now i can also test for equality using a string dns still true and in fact i can have this value here i can actually just have it costed to string if i need to and indeed let's Prove that. Yeah, in fact, we have a string back. So that's good. So a word of notice about word using methods. Consider, for instance, the math class with its max method. You call it like this, 1, 2, and it, it returns a max. And you have to also consider, in the case of functions, function max, let's say a, b, so if a is greater than b then a else so if we call this we don't really get the result that we wanted neither do we with max 2 but we have to call it like this max 1 2 so for methods you use a parentheses and the arguments with comma between them for functions, no parentheses and just a space between them. So this is important to notice. So in this video, we had a look at types, namespaces, methods and enums from .NET and how we could apply them in PowerShell.